everyone? How are we doing? First and foremost, can you hear me? Before we start the madness, can you hear me? Nice to see you all. Hope you're doing well for a Wednesday. There's a lot of you in early doors tonight. You must, you must want to see me suffer. That is all I can say. Mr. Goham, nice to see you, buddy. How are you? A Whalen, Cranky John, Nick, Mrs. Professor. So Mrs. Sim was in, the Sim guy, Strody, Daniel, Christoph, Jacob, Tack. How you doing? Nice to see you all. Farmer, Hamish, Joseph, Ryan, 84 boy. Hope you're all doing well. So, what, what is this all about? Hey, Farmer Ed, how you doing, mate? Trade unions, nice to see you. So, I've been thinking about this for a while, and I have kind of got to a point where I'm like, do you know what? Let's uh, let's give this. I have no idea how this is going to go. This could either be a really really good series, or it could be a one-off stream. We'll uh, I'll, I'll walk you through what I've set up so far. There's a whole there's a bit there's a bit of stuff that needs to be set up. In fact, one of the first things I need to do is um, remove about fifty million quid from a bank because that was just there for setting stuff up so let's give you a little tour of the yard first so of course we're on uh, Jonathan Dubois map um, Northwest Mods and Edits if you want this uh, there is a link I think I put a link in the description if not exclamation mark map it is on Facebook only so if you are one of those anti Facebook people that's just his choice I'm afraid so um, you might need to ask around or, or find uh, some alternative uh, means of grabbing a hold of it. But uh, there we go. How's the uh, stream? Is that is the stream jerky for you or is it smooth? I am getting a little bit of jerkiness. Um, it sometimes settles down a bit. This is kind of part of while I've set things up. It's I've started to lose uh, frame rate for some reason. Very odd. Um... So, let's give it a little bit of time to maybe settle down. I'm running at like 50 frames a second here, but I'll just give it a second. My CPU's up at 9%. It's usually about 2 or 3. So we'll let it settle down for a minute. Um, we've got a couple of big Kinseys here. There we go. Uh, we have got five big fence um, with 50-foot headers. I didn't go for 60-foot headers purely because... I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't be able to keep up with them. Um, let me just change some settings here. Uh, let's do that. See if that helps. Why is it so slow? This is annoying. Very odd. Uh, I'm, I'm running 4K actually at the moment, which uh, I should probably revert back to uh, 2K. That might help me. Um, but uh, I've run it like this for ages, so very strange. Um, ah, it might be settling down a bit now. It does this weird thing where it runs up at about 10% to start with and then settles. Oh, let's go back up to 6. All right, Hamish, you total nerd. <laughs> oh, dear. So, um, yes... Uh, five Fent Combines with 50-foot headers. Uh, Kinsey carts, they carry nearly... Um, I think it's 50,000 litres. Uh, if we head around here... I'm keeping an eye on things. It's seeing start to settle down a bit now, which is good. I wonder if it's just a, an initial... Uh, initial load-in thing. That I've managed to have broken something somewhere. We are going to use the containers... These hold 79,000 litres, and trust me, when you find out how much food these chickens eat, you'll understand why. So I have got three of those at the moment. Right, yeah, we're smooth now. We're smoothed off. That was annoying. But, uh... Yeah, we're going a bit jerky again now. It must be... There we go. Very strange. It's almost like it's, um... Loading cash in, which is odd. Ah! 
think I know why now. I changed some settings in NVIDIA and I cleared the cache, so it's probably loading stuff in. Um, let's jump to the map quickly, because I've done some quite substantial changes in one part of the map. There is our farm with our vehicles. We've got more vehicles to add at some point. Um, but we've got three massive fields of wheat to deal with. But look down here. This is where the magic is going to happen. This is where the magic is going to happen. We'll go into here. So um, there you go. We have got... There you go. There's my uh, frame rate falling apart again. So we'll give it a minute just to load that in. Uh, so we'll not move a lot. We have got 18 at the moment, so we need to add another two. If we want to get to a million, we need to add in another two barns. Uh, these... These chickens eat a hundred thousand, so I've got... Again, sorry for the jerkiness, hopefully that will settle in a second. Very annoying. I have got... One of these trailers... Holds 79,000 litres. We think we can... One trailer a day should keep each shed full. You want to know what 50,000 chickens look like? That's what 50,000 chickens look like. They churn through the eggs as well. I've been doing a few tests on food and things like that, but if we go to the animal... Um... Oh, we've only got... Beg your pardon, we've only got 25,000 at the moment. So here's the plan, because I can only move... So I've, I've done a lot of editing of stuff. So this now holds 50,000 um, chickens in total. So I'm going to start with 25,000 in here, because they uh, reproduce quite quickly. Here he is, with his dad jokes. <laughs> Even in Args, how you doing? Be thankful you didn't put maze plus. Somebody suggested that on Facebook. I was like, all right, I'm, I'm stupid, but I'm not mad. Um, so, yeah, they churn out quite a lot of eggs a day as well, as you can imagine. But what we're going to do is um, we're going to move them regularly. We're going to move our chickens over. So around here, we have got a Mark Thor edited trailer that holds 500 chickens so we can only move 500 at once so what we're going to do is stack up every now and again we're going to move a thousand chickens into each of these other sheds so over time they're going to grow incrementally in the sheds this will always be our fullest shed but if we put a thousand in each of the other sheds that'll spread things out a bit uh, they'll take less food as well and obviously they'll just reproduce as and when they need to so uh, um we're just, we're just going to see how it goes. I think my biggest problem is either I'm concerned I'll either run out of food before I've managed to do another harvest. So we'll, we'll, we'll harvest all three fields. We own the whole map. So we'll harvest all three fields. Um, we'll get it into the... I don't even know if that'll all fit in those silos and those bunkers. But uh, uh, we'll give it a go. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? Just to... And, and it's worth looking at the... Uh, I'm just going to try and clear this caching issue. But there's my, uh, there's my chicken farm, so far. I still loaded the map in, look at that. Get rid of that. Oh, I know what this is. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, there's my chicken farm. Nice. So 20, uh, 50,000 each of those. Uh, I've upped the food limits to, I think it's 100k a day. They'll take 100,000 in here. It was always quite low with this uh, chicken coop anyway. Um, so, we'll just, we're will just we just going to give it a go. We've got a little bit of grain in there to test things, but we've got three trailers. In fact, I might tip that. In fact, the first thing we're going to do is transfer some chickens. And then we'll get the combine going. Christoph Kellens, the problem is he has... The problem he has is the spawn point is inside. <sighs> I've thought of everything, Mark. I have thought of everything. Because the problem with this, this trailer doesn't fit into the shed. You can't reverse this trailer into the shed. So, what I've had to do is move the animal spawn point a little bit. Sneak around the egg trail. We might have to do two moves here. We may have to do two moves. Well, let's 
let's just get these loaded up. Too many trucks. But the problem is neither of these trucks fit in the shed. So I can't auto load. I have got auto load set up in the uh, the curtain side trailer, but we are going to have to um, use the forklift to get them in. But now I can just go, or and there we go, chickens. So we'll select the chickens. I want 500, and I want 500 in the trailer. Yes, I do. Um, and we go back here, and look, I've got 500 chickens. Look at them all. They're so well behaved, just queuing there. Careful not to... <laughs> oh, the egg gags are coming out in force, aren't they? Look at my CPU, what is going on? Um, so we'll load up we'll load up a couple more of these uh, sheds quickly and then we'll get the uh, we'll get the combines going. I do not am I still jerky on screen? I'm, oh, my OBS is looking super jerky. Uh, the, I won't. I won't ever game on the new PC Pharma Sim. That's just for editing and rendering and all of that stuff. This would. Uh, so I'm still always going to play on this PC. I've been playing around with settings and stuff, so I'm all over the shop a little bit. The new ones. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a new PC. It's Arxis. So let's put 500 in here. We'll do two runs. We'll put a thousand in here. We'll not move any more over now. But uh, I didn't reverse up far enough. Typically, should be able to do it from in cab actually, shouldn't I? Yeah, there we go. So 500 chickens. Move to husbandry. Yes. There we go. We've got 500 chickens in there now. I am going to upgrade this current PC, my gaming PC now as well. It's going to get a new processor in it. It doesn't need a new graphics card, but it is in dire need of a new processor. It's got quite an old one in it now, so there's some quite good deals on some of the uh, AMD processors. So let's just do that again. Uh, let's take another 500, shall we? Not 499, 500. Move to trailer. Yes. Right, let's move these over. How many jokes are we gonna... How many egg jokes are we gonna... I'll be ecstatic if this works. And I'm not yoking. Oh, this is frustrating. Let's go with medium. I'll get rid of... That's ugly. That's ugly. There we go. Do that. We'll unload these. Move to husbandry. Yes. Okay. FSG's excellent adventure. Uh, okay, let's leave that for now. Let's give them a little bit of food so they don't starve. This is, this is like a what's what of appalling jokes. I like it. My kind of gig. Um, somebody asked me where I got these Kenwood... Uh, um, off the top of my head? I'm afraid I can't remember. I would need to check. Um, and report back to you. Maybe have a look after the stream and uh, put the link in the uh, description. Right, let's tip. This is not a full load in here, but it'll be enough to keep these guys happy for 
a little while. There we go. This might be more than you can handle. Handle. Oh, dear. Am I naming the chickens? <laughs> no, Mark. Chicken one. One through a million. Right. Yeah, the Colonel is my main customer. Let's run this down to the yard again. And we'll get the combine set up. So I think that's all we need to do with the chickens for now. We will move a few more of them over at some point, but that's kind of not riveting. That's not really particularly riveting stream content, so we'll um, we'll maybe do that off stream or on a time lapse in a vid or something else like that. Well, let's head back to the farm. We'll use this one. We've got to put another two containers on trailers as well. We probably need to set up a little auto drive course as well. I don't know how quick this auger loads as well. This is one of the challenges with uh, these these bins is that these augers this tipping auger but we'll uh, we'll give it a go we will give it a go. I am hyped for FarmCon Faber you have no idea very excited a whole heap of stuff to do before I uh, can worry about FarmCon though oh this is doing my head. Is this jerky for you guys still? It's frustratingly jerky. Yeah, Oxy, I've got you. Uh, I've got a lot of artwork that I need you to do. Your first day here, actually. Is this jerky, guys? It's doing my head in. It jumps between about forty frames and sixty. Forty-eight FPS. Oh, very frustrating. Um. So we need a load point. We're going to start with this field here. No, Mark, I'm a single player. Single player. I think I've done something with my graphics that I've... Uh, I'm a little bit confused at what I've done. Now, I've got another problem at the moment with these. Is that the uh, the pipe on them, the pipe on the uh, Kinsey grain carts doesn't reach well it does reach over but you've got to be really really accurate so um yeah what right um i'm trying to think of a decent unload point for them right it's working for you guys good i wonder it might just be local then might just be my obs here is looking messy um i'm gonna find a point where i can unload these I think we might put them here. Let's put them here. Oh, my OCD. It's very possible it's that too, Mark. Good. Right. I'm going to ignore it now. It's it, it, it's playing out the corner of my eye and frustrating me. Stop blinking. Oh, I look quite left on as well. Right, we're not doing anything cap tonight. Right. Let's hook up another couple of uh, cranes, and then we'll. Uh... Ah, right. Okay, farm sim. Good. Egg CD. So this is the first time I've used these as well. I'm really impressed with these. Take it easy, farmer Hamish. Catch up soon, mate. Right. Let's get these loaded up and let's get those combines in the field. Uh, Ronald, uh, I had, I've got all of those listed already, so there wasn't anything that I haven't already seen in there, unfortunately. But thank you for sending them through. Much appreciated. Let's see if we can line these up. Try and do it relatively authentically. I could just 
snap it on there, couldn't I? But let's do that. Right, where's the back and where's the front? That's the oh, that's the back. I so probably want to do this. G Seedle Gaming, you're welcome, mate. No worries at all. Let's do this. Get it lined up. Much easier than stacking bales, might I add. Interesting. Why did that not uh, did that link on or not? It did not. Maybe I'm maybe I'm not far enough forward. Maybe that I bought the wrong one. Wouldn't put it past me to do that. Actually, I think I might have to jump in the truck. I'm trying to realise you bought the wrong containers, maybe. Hmm. Why aren't they going on? Move the tail handle back and it'll snap on. Well, that makes sense, actually, cranks, doesn't it? There you go. Thank you, Cranky. I'm so glad you're here. Right, that's good. We probably don't need more than two, actually, here. I think... Three will be lining them up and letting them run. Um, when we're feeding, but I think for these, we might be all right with just the two. Right, let's get our combines set up because this is going to take a bit of time as well. One million cows is not happening. Uh, Music Man, my new PC isn't going to be for gaming, it's going to be for editing, rendering, all that jazz, so... Now let's unfold everything, of course. Unfold this as well. Now, you may be wondering why I've gone for the fence when they uh, have a lesser capacity than some of the bigger ones. Well. I just felt like doing something different. Um, we are not gathering straw. No danger in bailing this. Hey, Brittle, how you doing, man? Nice to see you. And there you go. We have 7% in already. It may be that we set up course play um, for the or, or auto drive for the auger wagons as well at some point. I don't know yet. We shall see. But at the moment, we're going to run this, but how is that? I've got 15% in already. That is depressing. Yeah, we'll make a bit of space here. Combines to run into. Just so we can get things started. We're going to run five combines, which I think is probably the most I've run in 22, actually. Well, we've done run, we've run more than five combines, but I don't think I've run five on course play, so this could be good. Hopefully, this map is uh, going to be kind to us. So it's been set up for uh, for course play. So even though there's fences at the edge, I think um, Jonathan made sure that it was uh, 
it was working from a, a crossplay perspective. One, because I raced it when I was testing the map. <laughs> Why do I not do swathing? Because I don't need the straw. And uh, the thought of bailing all of this makes me sad. Take care, Rogs. Thanks for sticking your head in, mate. And uh, yeah, we'll chat to you shortly. Any tips for FSG for course playing? Really struggling on the silage side of things. What are you struggling with, Ronald? Let's, I'm gonna... Let's just open this up and give it a go and see what happens, shall we? Could be fun. To work out what um, exactly is gonna happen. It could take a while, actually. Great job. Let's play field board. There's our field board. Look how thin the f field board is. That shows you how big the field is, doesn't it? Force generator. We have got... Five tools. We are going to do just the one headland. Start work on the headland. Headland corners. We're going to go clockwise. Headland overlap. Up and down row. Rows to skip. Rows per land. So we're going to do... Not that it even matters doing lands. Even crikey doing lands here. We might as well do spiral, actually. Genuinely, because we want all the pipes on the outside the whole time. That straw into manure production plant, then take that manure to a BGA. <laughs> Don't have a BGA on the map, actually. I have and do run five on course when you just have to make sure you space them out enough so that the leading combine can make the corners. Should make the corners here. I'm going to do smooth corners just to... I might leave a bit of crop in the corners, but we'll take our chances, I think. Uh, generate fieldwork course. Now talk among yourselves for a while. This could take a few minutes. Okay, not too bad. And we've got a little uh, power line there, which is going to um, be interesting. Look, it drives right across the yard. Now I hope that's not going past anything. That's interesting. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. We shall keep an eye on that. So let's go back. Let's go back. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's go back. Right. Left two. Yep. First waypoint. Let's get him lined up so he doesn't... Um, have to turn around and let's empty him before we go anywhere <laughs> so we don't have to come straight back or we'll hold things up let's see how we're getting on here um oh i meant to ask kegarino how was the canadian grand prix mate is my t-shirt on my merch store no it is not Sim guy, this was a one-off that I made for uh, for packs in uh, in Boston. May come in the future, though. I'm glad to hear it, Kek. You had a good race as well. Got some quite good fun stuff going on. A little bit of rain always spices things up. All right, there we go. That's that done. So let's roll this into place. We're just going to make sure it's behind the start point here. Go. First one. What I'm going to do is copy that course as well. And we'll just jump straight into this guy. Who will be. There we go, we'll just paste that course in. Bosh, done. He will be left one. Ooh. 
smash up our new headers. Lando's the man. Lando is definitely the man. Uh, okay, open HUD with mouse. Still not a global setting in course play. Why not? So let's just set this header a little bit. Close that. Let's unfold it. Unfold this. To this. There we go. A bit of height. First waypoint, left one. Yes. Right, you can go two. There's no way I'm keeping up with this. Okay. Ah, uh, straw swaths on. Turn that off, shall we? Um, it's only saying an hour and 43 minutes. Straw swath. Straw swath. Straw swath. You can never remember where it is. Uh, it's not on this one, is it? Tool offset. Top another no. This one. Why is straw swath not here? Of courses, do I have to be turned? No, tool offset, straw swath. There it is. Couldn't see it for looking, couldn't see it for looking. All right, mental note we've got to do this for every combine. These are going to be full before I've even uh, deactivated. Yeah, these are going to be full before I've even set all five of them off. Which will be fun. We might just run the uh, trucks a couple of times. Now the whole point of this is we get the grain off. So I'm not too concerned about this will be sent, I won't it? Um, I'm not too fussed about if we kind of lose time at the moment. Although there's rain forecast, I hadn't noticed that. That's not ideal. First waypoint. Uh, straw swath off, let's remember to do that. Uh, straw swath off. Save that. I think it's going to be very hard to keep up with them. They're going to roll into place now. No, don't fold up. God. Just do it manually. Come on. Impatient there. That's good, Dan. That gives me uh, that gives me time to catch up because, to be honest, if they were on uh, lands, they're just going to stop in the middle of the field anyway. So there's absolutely no point in doing it like that. Straw swath off as well. I'd turn that off actually. Oh, I did. I don't know why he's. I like it, Dutch. There we go. Three. First two will be sitting at full anyway, but they'll stop. Fold, unfold, paste course, straw swath while we remember. There 
There we go. Save it. No worries, Sim Guy. Thanks for uh, dropping in and saying hello, mate. See you soon. <laughs> I'm afraid not, Joey. I am uh, not a watcher of the CFA. FL, CFL. Ask me about the Premier League in the UK, not in, well, in England. Uh, right one. Go, we'll turn sw swath off on this as well. Man, it's taken a while. To I should have set all these up and just set them going one instead of doing them one by one. I should have set these going. I should have set them all up and sent them off together, but. That would have caused us grief anyway, wouldn't it? There we go, go. Last one. Power it up. Unfold. Unfold. Paste course. Draw swath off. Save game. Back. Ah, I'm sorry. I misunderstood you, Joey. When you said football, I thought you meant football. Not rugby with pads. My, my apologies. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't all come at me. Oh, I didn't turn straw swath off again. Oh, I did. Stupid thing. Yeah, Derek, we need the combines to feed the chickens. It might be overkill. Not nearest waypoint. This might mess me up. I should have gone first waypoint. Oh, we've had a little bit of a, a moment there. But we're good now. Right. Five combines running. Two already full. So first run, we're going to take the truck. Just to help ourselves out a bit. That's true, I could just sell them. There's the chicken farm. Derek. Oh, they're all full. I'm gonna do it this way. these three. We haven't even set up an auto drive course for these yet. When you think the combines are right down the far end, the drive back that we're going to have to do with the auger wagon to unload them. Where's our fifth combine going? This will be the lands thing, won't it? He'll be, uh, he'll be off on a slightly different course to get things set up. That's the other thing, is you just put the trucks on to unload. This is the slowest auger ever as well. 
This is tedious. Oh man, I have to speed up there. You might have to go into the XML after the stream and uh, speed this up. We'll be here all week if they unload at this rate. Dirk Sanders, if you hit exclamation mark map, you will get a link to um, Northwest Modern Edits. One. The nice thing is we're not that full. They're not full either. Even Trey, how are we doing? No, it's uh, a modded one, Mark, from... Um, <clears throat> I can't remember who's modded it. It's the, it's the ideal pack. But yeah, that auger pipe needs some, uh, some attention, I'm sure. It's going to hurt us. Crazy, thank you, mate, for that. Good spot. I did not see that. It's because I didn't start it on first waypoint. I thought it picked it up. Yeah, so he's off to find another part of the course. That's why. No. Legit capacities, Trey, you know me. The only thing we've changed is the volumes of the chicken uh, coops. Or we'd literally have a thousand of them. So they've got 50,000. They'll hold 50,000 chickens and 100,000 litres of feed. Yeah, this, uh, this unload speed is pretty depressing, isn't it? So let's just start this at... Let's start this back here and start it on uh, first waypoint like we should have done. So it's going to run a little bit. Okay, it's going to run folded up as well, it would appear. How very strange. Steve, nice to meet you, mate. Thank you very much. I'm not, I'm not sure that's a good thing, right? As I'm proving now with this madness. All right, let's get the first combine. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Not for tonight, but we will fix it. He seems a bit faster. They aren't this slow in um, on the base game one, are they? Emergency guy, how are you doing? Has any be I'm changing HML, you mean XML, Josh? I don't, but there are plenty of them out there actually. Animals and children. Mark, yeah. Yeah, we're proof of that. Yeah, I think we... I'm going to run the trucks tonight. We might look at the uh, org wagons another time, but... Might be the only way we're going to be able to keep up. This is before we know what's going to happen with the auger. Into the... Uh, into the silos, so let's see how that goes. Oh, talk among yourselves. <laughs> but I have to say, loving the matter. Now my frame rates calm down. Something very odd going on with OBS at the start there. But no, I've emptied you and I've emptied you. And I'm not sure what you're doing, but I'll come and grab. What do we think we're running here as well?
This is good, they're all queuing up. Ah, he's got stuck on the fence. He's got stuck on the fence. That's good, you can keep unloading while I extract him. It's literally this first one, it's only when you have to... Uh... Oh, I don't want to turn him off either because of... They try and overlap each other. If you do it that way. So I'm just going to turn a blind eye. Realistic farming, everyone. Realistic farming. Yeah, we're changing that, Mark. No question at all. That's getting updated off stream. There we go. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be grim at this speed. The other option is we slow the combines down to like four miles now. But no, we'll adjust the uh We'll adjust this off uh, off stream for the next episode. These things tip as well if you go too fast around corners. It's nine thousand, seventy-nine thousand. I know, keg, right? Somebody's gonna get into some serious trouble for that, right? Jizo. Charging them like quarter of a million dollars for the privilege. But these are running at like four miles an hour anyway. Uh, working speed will be fine, Mark. Um, and capacities. I don't want. I don't want to make it an unrealistic series, but I do want to. Like I want an auger that I need an I need an auger that unloads faster than that. For sure. So if you're tinkering, as I know you already as you do, just that auger speed would be good. And even then, not crazy. Auger speed, just up to a normal standard. Right, let's unload. This is gonna be a test as well. You said you've done it already. <laughs> you're a... You're a machine, man. Right, let's see how this works. I think this needs the old uh, texture update, doesn't it? Look at that redrawing there. I didn't, I didn't think about that. Till now? Right, is this turned on? Or do I need to turn this on as well? I did think about putting River Bottom Customs unload in here, but because these I was using these tipper trailers, I thought that's not really going to work, is it? We're going to have to find one of the... There we go, we'll go. There we go, it's off. So see this, um, see every now and again you get the, uh, the banding. See that? See that uh, trail on that? I've been doing a lot of reading up on that this week. It's rubbish. You either turn off DLSS altogether. It's not keeping up with it. Or is the engine being turned off? Um, either turn off DLSS altogether, or you put up with it. It's kind of rubbish. There we go. There we go. Yeah, the engine was uh, off. Okay, that's running alright. Now we just need to know what capacity we can get into these... into these bins. I think it's quite a lot, though. This is going to be tedious if it switches itself off all the time as well. Either that or it's pouring too fast and it can't keep up. There's a swath. Oh, did I not do that? Right, yeah, I'll go and do that. First rule. <laughs> Look at this. I'm like a death wish. 
hit the power lines and tip the truck over. I do keg, but I'm going to stop because, as a rule, once I've done it, it's stored on YouTube and I very, very rarely um, go back and look at the original footage. I don't think I've ever... I think I did in my first year I went and put a annual kind of end of year update together. Um, I don't know, all our swaths are off now. Look at that. Must have... Uh, must have been some legacy stuff lying on the ground. So yeah, no, I've got about... Hmm, nine or ten terabytes of old footage just sitting. Actually, it's archived off now to, to drives, but it was sitting on my raid for a while, but it's starting to slow it down, so... It does a bit, you're right, Keg, yeah, it does. Um, I've always thought it would be nice to kind of pull together a highlights clip of stuff, but uh, swath disabled only on headland, is it? Uh, combine five or combine um, four? One, two, three. Four. God, eagle-eyed cranks. Eagle-eyed man, I'm impressed. Uh, deactivated. Thank you, sir. Good spot. Uh, Grady, how? Uh, hey, can you do a video playing Farm Sim Twenty Three Mobile? The only problem is when I'm playing it, it's us I'm usually not at home, so I don't have my kind of recording setup or every or anything uh, ready to record anything. And when I'm at home, it gets stolen by my son just plays Mario Kart. Now, this is brutal. Holy, holy moly. We might go move some more chickens at this rate. More riveting. Hey, Joe, how you doing, mate? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a busy one tonight. We've got a fair bit going on. He's stuck on the fence again. The joy of the initial headland. No, just driving a straight line, man. Come on. Turn your wheel. Yeah, come on. There we go. No, so close. Your dream game is FS22. You don't have a PC. Oh, mate, that's uh, that's a shame. But soon, I'm sure you will get one at some point. Yeah, I think you're right, Keg. You can replicate most of it if you need to. And like I say, you've got a backup of it on. Uh, on YouTube as well, so the only problem is the day that YouTube has a crash and loses everybody's content. What would happen if that happened, I wonder? Mr. Junt's here. He's retracted the message already. I'm just going to rant about my <laughs> driving skills. That's why we put the air, the air uh, bars on them. Something to crumple before it damages the expensive header. There we go. Mr. Jont. 
Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. I've managed to pick combines with the slowest unloading org as you can find anywhere. But uh, other than that, it's nice to be playing this map. I want to find a reason to play it for a while, so... It's nice to be able to do that. We'll um, load some eggs up as well at some point, I think. But we've got to keep on top of that. There's a kind of... It's going to be monotonous, but I think it's a kind of... Uh, comes with the territory, right? You've got to keep on top of your jobs. There's every possibility at some point this might get flipped to a uh, multiplayer, because I'll need some help. We'll see. Yeah, if these unloaded a bit quicker, I would have a few less issues, wouldn't I? Do love these big fields, though. Potentially, John, it depends. Um, I've started with uh, 25,000 chickens. And I want to grow them up to a million, so I'll let them... I'll spread them across the sheds, I'll reproduce them, sell the eggs, and just see... Uh, see what happens. Show <laughs> you know and crash on the map. Nice, Mark. Only problem is, you lot, if I put it on a multiplayer, you'll have it done by the next time I log in. What a treat, even with chicken. Are you not, have you not a chicken's fan reveal? Crash around in game, but not in real life. Yep, yeah, that's a good call. Actually, mine too. It's a bit too expensive in real life, doesn't it? Yeah, see, that's the front combine cutting in again. We are just going to have to accept that they're going to be parked up for a while. Hellhawk loving the oaks of them. Well, there's a little bit of a surprise coming. Tomorrow night's video is um, Saxthorpe Farms preview. So Farm Sim Briscoe's new map. Um, and I think dare I say it, even though it's a standard size map, I think it might be better than the Oaks. He's learnt a lot, he's developed a lot more so the map is I would say a little, he won't mind me saying this uh, a little bit more polished not that the Oaks is bad, the Oaks is tremendous for his first um, for his first map, anybody that undertakes a map full stop, but anybody that undertakes a 4x map as their first ever map is somewhere between lunatic and uh, genius and he did a brilliant way but uh, Saxthorpe is really really nice if you like British maps you're gonna love it oh Mark right there we go oh my god they're awful they are awful I'll go and get this last bit <laughs> Uh, it's, the, it's the onload pipe, that's what's killing me. The slow speed of the onload pipe. That's my excuse, I'm sticking to it. I'm doing well, thanks Isaac. Thanks for asking. Anyone excited for Court Farms? I am excited for Court Farms, well. When you get onto Court Farms, have a look at the signage at the farms. Because it was designed by yours truly. Did some work with Oxy on that a few, uh, a few weeks ago. That's going to be a lovely map. Uh, Keg, I saw your question there. Could I explain um, how the ways we can play on the community servers? On my service, Keg? Ninety-three, ninety-four. Yeah, I'm going to have some fun sec setting up an auto-drive course. You would have to have a loop around the edge of the field for that, wouldn't you? Good evening, Joe. How are you doing? Indeed. Yes, yeah, so um, we have got a few servers running at the moment. Um, we've got uh, Silver Run Forest, which is our cross-play server. 
we have got um, oh, what's it called Mark what's the current popular server oh we've got Western Australia 4x sitting there as a server as well they do go a little bit quiet in the summer um, Rocky Mountain thank you Excellent work. Thank you, Andrew. Um, so Rocky Mountain is uh, currently our popular, which is a great 4X map as well. Um, and there's quite a nice little community on them, so you can jump on if you remember. I uh, see Mark's playing on it now. You can jump on if you remember. Um, I am interested, though, to see um, if anybody would be interested in an open server for non-members. Now, obviously, the trials and tribulations that come with that are... You can get any random logging on and trashing things, but equally, uh, I don't mind setting up a server that way if people are interested as well. But obviously our member servers are... Uh, you get to play with like-minded people. And people don't draw rude things in the crops. With combine harvesters or plows. I need to put the... Um, What's the one that leaves the engine running? There we go. Now, will it tell me? I should have put the more uh, info HUD on as well. So I don't know what percentage I'm in this yet. <laughs> That's no longer <laughs> subscription, Christoph. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Grady, yes, I'm running five. Five combines. That is not emptied yet. It's Look at that. What's going on here? Well, we'll maybe give that a go. Keg. Maybe it's something we'll do with uh, court farms when it comes out. So, our org is switching off halfway. Oh, combines unload too slowly. We can only move 500 chickens at once. Uh, they need a th <laughs> they need a hundred thousand liters of grain a day. I I see no problem here. Uh, Ronald, it depends where you're downloading them from, mate. Make sure you get the originals. Um, don't go to the don't go to the mod sites because they won't be the original versions or the most up to date versions. You want to go to Elite Farming and join his Discord because he he made the trailers. Right, we'll try and unload these now. We're starting at the back and moving to the front, and then they might get a little bit further around the field while we go and shift some more chickens into some of the other sheds. We'll probably need to take... In fact, we could take this uh, trailer of grain down with us. Uh, Wesley, no, I play on PC. We're not even... Want Do you think we'll even get once around the field before the end of the stream? I'm not... I'm not too confident. Four out of our five combines are ready to unload. You just mastered course play, Ronald. Jeez. Wish I could. Takes ages. It's possible I may drop to maybe three combines, especially if the augers are sped up. Could do a bit of automation. Maybe you could run two combines in another field and get uh, two orgo wagons running and two unload points running and things like that I'll uh, I'll have to rethink my strategy because this is uh, this is not quite working, I de think definitely having auger, the augers unload a lot quicker would help for sure um, so we'll definitely look at that
you know, you could, you, you could, I could swap combines and go to the bigger capacity one, like the X9 or something with the 25,000 litre. But all that really does is, um, all that really does is mean that your combine's more full when you get to it. I should have done smaller headers as well, that might have worked as well. You just don't know sometimes, do you? Right, one done. I know there's not much in this one, but we'll take whatever's in here as well. Although he looks completely empty. He's not actually moved since, uh, since we unloaded him last. He's got a bit of space to roll forward into. But at least all five will be empty now. That should get them a little bit further around. Morning, Paul. How are you doing? Okay. Got a weird animation on the unload as well, isn't it? It's almost when it goes over those metal bars. Is it, is it when it goes over those metal bars? No. And the map needs the uh, texture update as well, so we've got a few little things to tweak before we go with this as a series, but uh, so far, I'm generally pleased with how it's worked. Everything's just about working, there's no real disasters here. The course play worked nicely. We're away from the fences now. No offence. Um, so that's worked things out nicely, that won't disturb us again. We're doing spirals, so the pipes are always going to be in the outside of the field. Even though it is slightly shorter, Dan, take your point. Uh, slightly, it'll take slightly longer. But I think the trade-off is it'll be, easy, it'll be easy to unload. X over X, nice to see you, buddy. Thanks for your kind comment on the Hannah, Indiana. How many of you actually, um, whether we ask, are going to have a little playthrough on our Han Hannah, Indiana save? Be interested to see we did quite a few little tweaks to the map so it is a little bit more uh, behaves a little bit better now than the original one yep. oh that unloads horrible but it's just unload will you there we go So we'll, um, yeah, we'll definitely take this load, even if it's not full, even if it's 50%. And we'll shift a few more chickens about. I'm going to put 1,000 in each pen, so that would take 18,000. And I would only leave about 5,000 in, in the first shed. And then we'll start, uh, we'll start growing them gradually naturally rather than just loading them up or buying them we're not going to buy them because it wouldn't be much of a series if we just put a million chickens in the shed and just spend the whole time feeding them because that's what's going to happen that is what's going to happen to bertie how are you doing mate nice to see you uh, wesley eldred this is um evergreen saskatchewan yeah you need he does a killer job, doesn't he? He uh, does some outstanding maps. Some really nice touches in it I'm looking forward to seeing as well, like uh, the hedges during seasons. Um, other farmers work in the fields as well. That's going to be nice. I did see he's removed all the animals now because you can add them in as a mod now. Take care, Farmer Sim. Thanks for hanging out, mate. Nice to see you. You can rest assured this is going to be hours of unloading combine it's not we'll go and do some other stuff so we'll let them go around that track is so it's such a big field they may get sold at the end tray yes i'd like to know what a million chickens looks like in monetary value uh, let alone what the eggs are going to cost oh we'll load up we'll load up the eggs that are there as well because um 
we've got that set up with the uh, with the autoload trailer so we can run the forklift to the back doors and it'll it'll auto load them from there so you're kind of semi loading but not not going to the uh, nth degree of having to line up the pallets and things like that using Loki's rather fantastic script Oh, yeah. How, how long has it been working out here? We well, was we started it for FS19, so yeah, like three years of work it reckons into it. Right, that is enough. When they're full, they can sit and wait for me for a bit. Now we'll uh, we'll go and play with the chickens, get things organised because we want to. Uh, I want to kick things off properly. Make sure all the sheds have got at least a a seed group of chickens in there. Look at that, my CPU and my OBS has settled right down now. Just weirdly at the start it just didn't want to play ball. That is very odd. And I can't tell you why. Uh, nicely, we have an, an exit here. Even though we're driving over crop, I can't even see us tidying that up. You know that? I might just have to live with what it is. We'll park this up for now. Let's turn the engine off as well. So, how many have we got in here now? Did I only put 500 in here or did I put 1,000 in? I can't remember. So long ago. Did I put 1,000 in? Thank you, Cranky. Yeah, 1,000 in there. Right, that's good. So let's go to here. Let's pop the doors. Pop the doors. Oh my god. <laughs> And repeat, and repeat, and repeat. Right, let's grab another two loads. Let's try and fill this first row. We'll, uh, again, we'll do some more of this off stream so that we're getting a bit of variety of stuff done, but. Dodge that other truck out of the way now. Gentle love tap. And we want to shift 500. Move to trailer. Okay. Right, let's just move this one out of the way so we're not making life difficult for ourselves. Reverse this down the side. I should design a logo for my chicken farm, shouldn't I? This uh, curtain side needs a needs a logo on it, for sure. That is your Wilson mark. I gave up trying to edit myself. I did get it to work on uh, one of the other trailers, but uh, I had chickens hanging out the side, and I couldn't be bothered working through the uh, transform groups just because of speed really so I thought I'd grab yours there we go let's do that move them to the husbandry yes thank you very much hey scooter how you doing man nice to see you how did you get the chicken coops that close? Just placed them, mate. Just placed them down. 
And I was trying to do it with a thousand, and I nearly set up a trailer to do a thousand chickens, and then just, yeah, I've got to be selective about what I do at the moment with being so busy with work and stuff, or I just get no content out. So it was like pick your battles. So today it was um, take a mod that's already been done. That's a problem. I'd like to spend a bit more time. I uh, see what you did there, Jason. <laughs> They'd be perfect. They'd be beautiful eggs. I mean... 50,000 chickens in each of these sheds. They're living in luxury. Uh, will there be any more real-life videos? Uh, yeah, absolutely, Ronald. Um, but not, not very often, really. Because I can't get down, down south that often. And also... Um, I'm going to try and get down and do a harvest one. In the summer. Or... Early autumn. So that is, I've got to remember which ones I put in right. The thousand in the first three. One, two. Hello, first two. Let's go to the next one now. I have to prepare for the Royal That's right. A king of New Zealand is on his way. Making heady demands and expecting this, that, and the other happening. go 500 I do like this mod as well this is from Thunder it adds increases the amount of chickens that you can get out of a shed at once which I've bumped up as well well thank you Ronald you keep watching them mate you keep watching them. make sure you watch the ads as well in the middle <laughs> Which reminds me, if you haven't hit the like button, please hit the like button, because... This is hard work. <laughs> no, it, uh, it helps spread the, uh, the vid around and more people see it that maybe haven't discovered it before, so... Uh, I tried Kentucky, it wouldn't take, again, same issue as with the... Um, the trailers. There's a lot of work to mod it to take that many. I did think about it, I tried it as well, but uh, a lot of work adding like 500 or 1000 transform groups in. So this is what we're going to do for now. But although it's kind of I didn't want to make this super unrealistic. I wanted to see if you could kind of achieve it. So actually we can use the tyre tracks to know which ones have filled up, can't we? That's a clever way of thinking about it. Yeah, I didn't want to be able to move like 20,000 chickens in one go in one trailer, so... I'm kind of accepting that maybe 50,000 in these sheds is a little bit excessive. But I don't think it's massively OTT. You probably get... I've been in chicken sheds this size in the UK, which have 20,000 in them. So I don't think it's... there we go, a thousand. It's not like I've got a million in one shed, you know? Mark Simpson, how are you, buddy? 27 months. That's crazy. So, um, the channel is three years old in, in about a month and a half. Battery hands, yeah. Solar powered. Lithium ion chickens. Um, yeah, we're um, three years old in uh, a little under two months' time. Scooter, 15 as well. Yeah, no, it's. Um, we're going to have to think of something cool to do, I think, for third year anniversary. to find quite a cool giveaway to do or something. A little competition or something. Al Tuna, it's been a while, mate. Nice to have you back. How are you doing? There we go. Move to husbandry. We'll need to top. I don't know how much we're going to put in. Maybe how much is in the trailer? We're almost 100,000, so we could put... 
first two have got a bit of food in. So we could put maybe 20k in each, just under 15, 20k in each of these. That'd be enough to keep them going, wouldn't it? Swap out the comrades. I would if I had time, Mark. We've only got an hour. We've only got half an hour left, so I will do it for next time. I think. Um, there we go. Move to trailer. By the time we've done this and loaded some eggs up, we we might drop out. And I will, Scooter. You are right. So we're going to have to get that in the ground and growing pretty quickly as well. My biggest fear is that there isn't enough food to keep things going for a year in between harvests. That's my biggest nervousness. So even if I combine all three of these fields, there we go. Last one coming up. There's something quite nice about not doing them all in one go as well. It staggers uh, their growth pattern as well. So we're not getting incremental. Just by. <laughs> We've got 25,000 at the moment, 420. It would be a rubbish series if I just bought the food, Mark. <laughs> Nothing to say it's not going to be a rubbish series anyway. Altos, no worries, my friend. Thanks for uh, dropping by and... Uh, joining the fun hopefully we'll see you again soon oh overcooked it on the turn there mark when you uh, send me that uh, when we send me the combines can you keep the um the zip file name the same as the original mate and then i don't have to recheck it because it'll re uh, it won't resport it will um it will clear them won't it whereas if the names are same it'll just do it'll stick them where they belong eddie rufus good to see a canadian map this is a nice canadian map i do like this one again it's not everybody's cup of tea and it's radically different to bally spring <laughs> I'm going to need about five big seeders, I think, Ronald. I've already got one earmarked, though, so it's all good. Uh, right, this is going to be our last r batch of chickens. And then we'll start getting some feed in, and then we'll get some eggs. One thing edit and one that doesn't. Right, I'll just... Uh, I think... You can change... Can, no. Can you change the mod name? Or do they have to be the same as well? So if I put one that says edit in, it will get rid of the five in the field and make me repurchase them on it. Unless I go into the save game and edit and just change the name and all that, but easier just to do it the other way, isn't it? Bosh, bosh, bosh. Right. One thousand in each. Uh, yeah, I couldn't do massive chicken farm. Now, uh, Hamish. I think Hamish is gone because he's been working hard this week. Um, Hamish is running a crazy big cow farm on I don't know what map it is can somebody remember what map it is I was going to say Chilliwack but it's not Chilliwack but he's trying to automate a fully automated uh, cow farm with some ridiculous amount of cows and uh, Maze Plus as well yes Ronald 160 uh I appreciate you all spending your Wednesday at whatever time it is where you are watching. I appreciate that. You're all legends.
it's amazing how many viewers you get when you put up a post saying I'm going to do something silly and outlandish in Farm Sim. Everyone's like, oh yes, let's watch FSG make a bit of a fool of himself. Right, let's see. So we've got four sheds, so let's stick about, I don't know, 15k in each. So let's stop this about 55-ish. I'll do. We're just topping them up a minute. Oh, it's already Thursday for you guys, that's right. The old time travellers are in, all the time. Should have done with telling me what the uh, lottery numbers were in the UK last night. Do you know, somebody won 55 million quid in the UK last night. And it wasn't me. Smack it, have you missed anything? <laughs> I think I'll let uh, the guys answer that. Right, 20 in each of these. It's either watch you try not to kill chickens or help the wife make dinner. Both, both grim experiences reveal. But I like your choice. Right, 10,000 each of these, and then we'll load some... We'll load some eggs up. I am actually quite pleased with how this is working out. It wasn't you either, Derek. Yeah, I know, right? I would have had more. I keep saying to myself, oh, it's a shame I didn't win. I would, I would have, I would have had way more fun with it than uh, whoever won it did. I would have appreciated it much more than them. <laughs> Honest. Right, there we go. Last shed. Well, that's tipping. John Deere tractor cab and farm sim. I would hire a team of people to make that for me. Thanks. So, there we go. 1,000 in there. Let's have a look at the animal thing. The animal uh, HUD. There we go. 1,020k. So, those 20 we're going to spread across the other coops but not tonight and not now there are already what oh cracky i was like how have they made nine thousand eggs already but it's in the first one nine thousand eight hundred eggs just get to the yeah that's true just put a pc in a full tractor right we put him in here a third one we need to buy a few more of these at some point as well I could have bought a castle for DJ to say, I could have, you're right. That's right, they wouldn't let you uh, start the computer without uh, sending one of the sending one of the guys out to uh, do it for you. Because they don't trust you to turn on your PC. Ooh. That's Is that over now? They had the court case, didn't they? And they lost. The right to repair thing. Is that... Why don't I have stock check-in, Mark? It's a very good point. I will do that. I will rectify that. I'll just go, yeah, I'll take that simulator they had at, uh, at Mannheim. There we go. Um, open the back doors. Oh. Clatter them off the uh, shed. It's not in your top. I'm never going to live that down, am I? I never said it was in order of. And I'm banking a load of stuff for another video, right? Jeez. <laughs> nope. <laughs> not having it, you're like, nah. You're fobbing me off, man. Probably stoked by args as well. But we've even got some in here already. We might even go and sell these and see how much we make. Like. 
That is just the crone trailer from um, the base game. If you go into miscellaneous, I think it's in. In the store. Big A, how's it going, man? Nice to see you. It's going to be a running joke now. Fox is going to test the badger me the whole time. We're not putting in. I'm going to do. I did a foot. He got a video of his own. It got a whole video of its own. I like forklifting. Better than bale uh, stacking, anyway. Although I am going to get better. There's no way I'm getting near Argsy's time, though. I think Argsy's got that one sewed up for forever, I think. Even the FSL guys can't get close to him. Ah, uh, we'll be fine, Derek. I actually, it's what the spawn point... I might move the spawn point outside so I can just reverse the trailer. So, like, I've uh, moved the uh, chicken spawn point or the trigger. We could just slide this outside the... Um, slide this outside the shed. And then you could just pull the truck up, open the curtain side, and just load full trailers in. So that might be something I do, Derek. Yeah. This could get tedious, right, when they're... Uh, when they are full... <laughs> Corp Take it back man <laughs> He was here earlier though Just You can just blame lag You can just say oh, I typed it um, uh, See this is a problem That one's not full Right that'll do for now That'll do for now We'll come back and get the rest later No that'll be the doors of the shed Right, we've got. Oh, cracky. Why am I inside? There we go. Right, does that stop? Well, no, that's annoying, isn't it? No, I did not, Corp. Tell me, tell me. Son of Rag, how are you doing, mate? Nice to see you. 18 months, mate. Nice work. Just drive alongside the building and activate auto. Oh, uh, we could try that from the outside, actually, uh, Jacob. We'll try that all the way back, actually. Um, I am looking forward to... Oh, that is not the button I want to press. Saxthorpe Farms. From Farms in Briscoe. I uh, did a, a, a map tour yesterday on it, or a preview on it. And um, I was properly taken with it. Very, very good. So I'm looking forward to having a little bit of a play on that. I think it's going to be quite good. I am going to hold off until it's released, though. I kind of here's a here's a question actually. What's your views on um, content creators doing a preview, like a map tour preview, is cool, right? But uh, oh, this is a bit annoying from a camera perspective. Um, but what what's your view on? content creators doing series on unreleased maps I've always been of the uh, I've always been of the view that that's kind of rubbing people's like doing a tour is good because people want to see the map and make a decision on whether or not it's a map for them and what's coming stuff but doing a like a like a let's play series on it you know potentially months before anybody else can get a hold of it do people like that do they not does it not bother you I don't, I don't know, I, I just... I've always been kind of... I wouldn't do it, but... I'd be interested to see your thoughts. Right. I've not considered at all where the egg cell point is, so... We should work that out. Watch this. Bet you there's not an egg cell point on the map. <laughs> Hadn't thought of that. <laughs> That's fine.
That is fine. Um, and we haven't got the sell everything, sell anything uh, in here, so uh, sell points. We could just put a supermarket in, couldn't we? Fast food restaurant, biomass eating, supermarket, restaurant, uh, farmer's market. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Farmer's market, if they sell eggs. Let's just wait and see if they do. Right, let's put farmer's market somewhere. And I've got to own the land, have I? Let's see about that. the land. Such a pernickety game. A jest, obviously. Oh, I can't buy that land either. Well, that's just fine and dandy. Isn't it? Let's buy field seven. Let's actually do a bit of nice landscaping. Make it nice and proper. Now is that that mine now? Good. Don't mind if I do. So I asked the question now and I haven't read my chat for about 10 minutes, so there we go. Um, don't like it since we can't follow or do the same map. Here's something brilliant, you can't have it. It's okay if the modder says so. I like the new Scottish fart. What's that? The, that the one with the American houses on it's the least scottish map <laughs> i talk about that in the in the in the saxon uh the saxthorpe farms one if you're going to do a map on scotland don't put american wooden houses in it because it stops it being like scotland and i for one can speak from experience on that one kind of spoils it a bit for me and i get it if you're not a if you're not a uh if you don't know how to do 3D stuff. But there's enough kind of like British mods out there that you could you could fix that, couldn't you? Right, let's get this. I don't know where the, uh, the actual trigger is on this. And I've put this too far over because I can't landscape that. Although I can get bigger, can't I? So I can cheat a little bit. Oh, it's not going to let me cheat. Oh. I wish you could hold shift down. It would do it in a straight line. My OCD hates it. Oh! Oh! And I get, I get it if it's like a week before the map comes out, right? That's that's That makes sense. People want to start a series if they know it's coming. But, you know, some people have been doing series for like, mo like months. There we go. Can I level that as well? Smooth it. All right, that's quite steep. Oh, well, we'll give it a go. Upset all the traffic. Right, I need to find out where the trigger is now. I'm going to have to turn the triggers on on this. Uh, just so I can see. Uh, on. Hmm. Sorry, I'm going to catch up on chat again. There's a Let's Play series now for American Falls, but he's showing the map changes between episodes and basically asking suggestions. That's a bit different. It's almost like live testing, isn't it? Like the streams run release map, what's the episode when it gets released? Uh, 
annoying as you get bored of the map here. Not a fan of it. Yeah, I mean, I th you know what, each to their own, right? You know, if if, if the guys want to play, it's not... I, it doesn't it doesn't matter at the end of the day but I just I was just interested ah there we go I was just interested from a from a viewer's point of view um open back door open side door is it Z go left shift I Okay, well that didn't work very well, did it? Did I completely miss it? I'll have to do some gentle coaxing. Oh no. A selling. Slowly. There we go. They're fine. They're fine. They're good sturdy eggs. Good shells on them. I can't see my fresh chat now because I scrolled up to read some of your comments. There we go. <laughs> Didn't see how much we'd sold there. Try keep this isn't gonna keep up with sales, is it, at this rate? So slow and low, we'll have we'll have trucks lining up. Oh, we'll jump in and we'll have a look. X sober, have you seen my uh, series? That I did before Scroft about uh, surviving Wyoming. I'm going to try and do something else. I'm trying to think of a, a storyline for that, for something in the future for that as well. I think Scroft got the farmhand a couple of months after that, after I'd done mine. Totally different storyline, like, but uh, we, nearly did, we nearly did a kind of crossover where I had a phone call with George, but I was just coming to the end of the series and we never managed to finish it off, which could have been quite, quite good fun. He was going to speak to... Uh, uh, to Cletus. Right, how much did that cost? How much did we make there? Um, sold eggs. Got eggs there. Sold products. 30 grand for those eggs. That's not bad. Bull's Gap, yeah. and, and I'd quite like to do another Bull's Gap. It's finding a map. I almost started it with... The map that shall not be named. But I've almost kind of teed that up now, so uh, so we can uh, maybe kick that off at any point. It's quite a nice, uh, it's quite a nice sedate series that's starting with absolutely nothing. And I was even going to go more extreme this time. I was literally going to start with an axe and see how we got on. <laughs> So that could be fun. I wish I could do another survival Wyoming. It, just, it was so time consuming. I would just been busy with other stuff. I just couldn't, I don't want to do another one because I don't want to commit to it and then not do, not do justice to it. We're gonna get too. Uh, I'll get too precious about it. I want to. want to do it right. So. Uh, yeah, I think I'll. Uh, I'll maybe save that for a time when I've got a bit more space. Now let's do this little test here actually, let's see if we can pick up, because there's enough space. I made a point of making sure there was space in between the sheds. Not for picking up eggs, just for... Uh, 
I don't know, getting tractors or things down. But let's just see if we can pick up eggs. Yeah, well, that John Deere in FS19 was glorious, wasn't it? Derek. All right, are we good here? Now, okay, it wouldn't be good if I can press the auto load from in here. Oh, so all we need to know is if will it pick up the initial. So if this is. Because it'll stack three deep, I think, won't it? So if your three deep goes to here, will it pick up all three from where it's parked? I don't think it's gonna. Let's see. Um. You're a pilot. All material type eggs. Loading method stack. Why have I got uh, L? Why haven't I got? So I don't think it's picking up. Hmm. It's still seeing the trailer to about. There? Control, Alt, X. Stack. Now it said... There, okay. Because it's not taking full only. Right, there you go, full only. So I don't think it's going to get all of them in. Oh, maybe... Yeah, see? Just... Let's just move that one out of the way. We'll put that back in. Let's just spawn a couple here. I just want to do a test here. Spawning eggs, because, like, I need to do that. Jeez. Uh, all... Let's do it in alphabetical order, so let's go this way, shall we? Eggs. One, two. So if it does do them three deep, I think we're just gonna. But I could, um, we could move the spawn point, couldn't we? So I think you're gonna get one, two. Or was it two? Did anybody remember? I need to go back and have a look. I think it might have just been two. Actually, it could just be two. If it's two, we're good. Is that another? Spawn? There's another spawn at the back there. No, it's definitely three, look. Yeah, it's definitely three. So, start loading. Left shift R. Oh, only going to take the first two. But you could, you could bump them. I could nudge that close to the wall as well. Just by, it only needs a little bit, doesn't it? If you nudge that, that, just to there, might work. Almost enough. Oh, so close, isn't it? Whenever you set up crossplay for Sarge, it does not go to the row for some reason. Uh, are you using the Windrow course as your basis? Close this. Yeah, the way here. Turn the engine off again. No, that's what you need to do. Tom McKenzie, how are you doing? Nice to see you. I am doing very well, mate. Thank you very much. We'll probably have some eggs in here, maybe. Not as many. Uh, yep. That would be eggs already. Same course play mod. Yep, should be. So you, you, you windrow everything. You windrow everything with a, with a windrow, of course. Um, and that course you then reuse... 
No eggs in there. That course you then use, you copy that course over like we did with the combines before. You copy it between uh, vehicles, or you save it. You can save it as well. Um, and then you uh, repeat that course, because the windrow will be in the centre of that course, so it doesn't matter the width of the vehicle then. It's running off the centre of that course. Right. You know what time it is, don't you? Let's go and get this truck. We're going to go and unload those combines again. Corp, I have spoken to Scott. He is fine. He just needed some time away from his PC. Um, I think he's quite a busy man as well, so we're... He was taking some time out to uh, to chill for a bit. But he's doing all right. Is there an auto storage mod you can use for eggs? Um, yeah, that's a good call, actually, Derek. I'm sure. Do I know about Titanic? Uh, I know that it hit an iceberg and sank a long time ago. I also know that there's some people stuck at the bottom of the sea at the moment. I don't know if they've... Uh, I don't know if they've found them or not. I know they had said they heard some banging, but I don't know if they could kind of confirm whether or not they kind of confirmed it was them or not. What a grim way to go, though. Oof, I wouldn't fancy that. Being stuck and uh, not knowing if you're going to be rescued and your air running out. Pretty scary. Scoop Steve, nice to see you buddy, yeah, it has been a while, hope you're doing well. Needs to be a window puts row in middle, not to side for that to work. Don't follow you there Ian. In terms of the eggs, you're talking. Get them all queued up. Hurry up, FSG. Hey, Ultra Zippy, nice to see you. Needs to be a wind row that puts row in the middle, not side for that to work. That's true, yes. That is true, Ian. Good point. Right, let's get these unloaded, all five of them. It'll only be an hour, and we've not made it once around the field. But thanks to Mark Haith, uh, Mark, Mark, Haith, Mark Thor, we'll have a faster auger unload coming. So I shouldn't have put five on this field either. In hindsight, that was not a clever thing to do. Um should have gone three and two and we could have managed two fields at once but we still have two fields after this one so that's what we might do we'll push on with this one like i said faster unload is going to help us um get things done and then after that uh we'll yeah we'll set things up just a little bit differently um i'm quite pleased that this uh don't think I need to run the auger wagon. I think we'll run the trucks. We'll just we'll just assume the ground is uh, hard enough that we can run the trucks on it. We've got these nice uh, chunky tyres on the back of this, so they'll grip a little bit in the uh, in the field. But yes, eighty thousand litres of grain. It's not something you'd really do, is it? Is this one in front full? I think I can't tell about the uh, the fill play whether or not these are full or not. Just map, chef, singular. 
but it's uh, Evergreen from Northwest Mods and Edits. Oh, this is tedious, isn't it? Tedious. I think this is going to work. I'm quietly confident about this. I think we can get up to a million chickens. I think we could pull it off. Very empty here. Got them opening and shutting their pipes to say, hurry up. Are you using the 5k chicken coop mod? I was trying to use it the other day and was coming up no more space to store eggs but the place where the eggs spawn was empty no I blue sky I is it the 5k one yes it is the 5k one that's interesting um, no I've as you can see I've been just been unload, loading eggs there no problem I think once you get it too full it doesn't it doesn't spawn the extra eggs straight away is this not unloaded? It needs to kind of wait a little bit to respawn the eggs. I do, I need to spend a bit of time setting up a few auto drive courses and things like that, Derek. And I think even automated feeding could be quite good fun as well. You know, you fill up from the fill up from the uh, from the bin and you could run, I'm not sure how many unload points uh, auto drive will do I know it'll do multiple um, it'd be mega if it could do a, all 18 but actually you could probably run three trucks six sheds each that would work out quite nicely a little bit in each Oh, there you go. Liftable pallet mod interfering with the eggs spawning. So good. I'm not used liftable. That's Yoss's lift liftable pallets, isn't it? Did I know the sub was controlled by a game? Cr I know a lot of those uh, things are controlled by little handheld devices. Not sure if it's actually an Xbox controller plugged into it. Or something similar. Is it actually a PlayStation controller? Jeez. Maybe hit the X button and uh, put out the game by accident. We shouldn't laugh. People's lives are in danger. Ideally. He'll be found and brought to the surface and uh, be all right. Right, one to go. We'll unload this into the uh, into the bin, and I think we'll call it there. But yep. you guys want to see more of this? Is this up your street? If we kind of polish things up a little bit, get it running like clockwork. Does you want, to see, you want to see me push this one and see if we can get to a million chickens? We don't even have enough sheds at the moment, so we need to build two more sheds somewhere. But I think that's the least of my worries at the moment, right? But this has been to the, the, the combines has been torture. We could definitely do with, um, look, we're not even going to have enough space to 65, 79, we're going to have almost enough space. Push through on the chickens. 
Well, we've got we've got 1.2 mil in the bank now, right? So we need to make a mental note of that because other than buying a bit of seed, and every time we get a bit of equipment, we'll we'll make sure they keep the cash the same, so uh, we know how much we're going to make at the end of it. Still doing headless. I stopped for a bit, Trey. I'd uh, I went and did some other stuff because this unload is brutal. I'm gonna. I will install Mark's upgraded upgraded combines after the stream's finished, and we'll uh, and we'll go again. So what do we think? We more live streams. You want to see a few vids on this as well? What's our What's our approach? Do we think? Bit of a mixture. We've got to get to a million chickens, haven't we? That's got to be the challenge. That's the dream, right? There we go, we're full. 79,200 in these trailers is definitely helpful. A mixture, no worries. Nice, Matt. Could be, it could be a regular Wednesday thing for a few weeks. We'll see how we get on. Might end up being a bit boring if we uh, if we get it fully automated, or maybe that's the fun bit. Who knows? Who knows? I just realise I can't actually get back to the farm now. Need to cut these headlands out first. I'm interested to see what's going to happen with this uh, power line as well here. Or is it a telegraph pole? Oh, there is a there is an exit here. Uh, let's tip. I've got to update the map as well. Get the old uh, texture thing fixed. So a few teething problems, but we'll get around them. And that's some seriously big headlands. That 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 will be a huge amount of that field sorted. Actually, Cranky, you're a legend. Thank you so much, mate. Really appreciate it. Have to be sustained exactly jason we can't just if we hit a million chickens we've got to keep them alive then for a bit as well so could be a bit of fun trying to feed them but you know we like a challenge here oh well that's made a mess of that hasn't it this is an issue as well we need to think of a better way of doing it. i may install a different bin setup that we can actually reverse and tip what if oh, what, what, what have you missed, Tim? Um, we've tested a few things out, like there is no egg cell point on the map, <laughs> which was an issue. Um, oh, Strody, that would have been yeah, that might have been a step too far. Yeah, why is this? Is, is, is the have we been too far from it? Maybe that's better. Yo. No, still. What? Please don't be full already, surely not. Oh no! <laughs> These only hold the 200... What? 205,000 liters? Or is the auger moved? Ah, right. Yeah. Stupid creepy augers these that just decide they've got a mind of their own. And now the stupid open HUD with mouse. We should sign a petition with cosplay to make that uh... come on. A global setting. So you only have to do it once. 
I'm not sure I know anybody that does um, opens their HUD with the right mouse button. Yeah, see, I'm off centre now. Overcooked it. There we go. Fill up, fill up. Oh, still going. Right, well, I guess as I wrestle with this, we are totally changing these bins, by the way. I'll not I'll not delete them, but I think we'll just set up another bin site somewhere. Maybe I will delete a few of them and put a different bin site in. It's just for ease, really, of tipping. So I need to find one that hasn't got an enclosed uh, um, grid as well. Pit. We need one with an open pit because we're using tipping trailers. Done it? Yeah, we're done. Good! Look, you can't even see the combines. They have not made it back yet. Animals can die more eggs hash. <laughs> no. Even shout, you know a good bin. Interesting, Mark. I shall maybe tap you up after this. Put a bin site in the field if you've seen that, don't we? Yeah, we could do that. We've got this nice big open bit of grass here as well. We could dump something there. We could tweak the shape of the field or something. Right. Thank you everyone. Much appreciated. That was good fun. I'm kinda of pleased how it's worked out, better than I thought. So uh yeah, we'll see where this goes in the next few weeks. One million chickens. Here we come. Thank you all so much for watching. Nice to have a really good crowd in. Don't forget to hit the like button on the way out. Like I said, Saxthorpe... Fuck, it's really hard to say that. Saxthorpe Farms preview coming tomorrow. Uh, definitely check that out. It's, it's a really nicely done map. Uh, and it's going to come to all consoles. It certainly is going to try and get it to all consoles anyway. Um, so, nice one. Um, yeah, that's out tomorrow. We'll try and get a few vids out of the weekend as well. Um, manically busy at the moment, so apologise if, if stuff doesn't come out, but uh, you know I'm trying. Uh, anyway, have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your weeks. Look after yourself. Stay safe. I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.